Hey, what's up? This is Tim O with Tim O Paints, and today I'm going to tell you the things that you should never do when painting a metal garage door. But before we get into that, I do want to mention that I created a free estimating guide that will help you never underbid a job ever again. It's free. It's a link in the description below, and it'll be the pinned comment. So with that being said, let's talk about the things that you should never, ever do when painting a garage door. And number one thing is don't paint in the rain. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, actually, I'm serious. Don't paint in the rain. But uh, preparation is key. If you got to paint a garage door, you always got to remember preparing the surface is the most important part. So you want to make sure you get it clean. Get it clean first by using a low pressure, maybe even a garden hose with a slight um, surfactant, some kind of um, maybe like a light mixture of dish soap. I don't do any of that. I just use a pressure washer. But if you're a DIY and you're not familiar with the pressure washer, you can do some damage. So if you're not really familiar with that, just stand back really far. Just go ahead and hose it down really well. Um, I like to also lightly sand it with a sponge sander first. Um, so never, never, ever just show up to a job and start painting your garage door. You, you need to prep it first. So before you paint, always prep. And whatever it calls for, if it has chipping paint, you want to make sure to chip off all the flaky paint. So, you know, never paint your garage door when it has flaky paint. So basically, there's a couple other things I want to get into. Uh, surface temperature too is another huge factor that you got to keep in mind when you're painting a metal garage door. Now you don't want the temperature. If it's a hundred degrees outside, you can expect that a metal surface being exposed to the sun is probably at least 10 to 15 degrees hotter, maybe even upwards of like 25 degrees. But I mean, if it's a hundred degrees out and the sun is hitting a surface, just don't even try to paint that because you're not going to get the finish that you want. It's not going to be professional. And in the long run, it's going to fail. And that's the last thing that you want you want is the garage door to start peeling and flaking after you've been the one painting it now i'm gonna say do not ever paint your metal garage doors with a brush or a roller but there's a little asterisk because like if you're experienced and you think that you can do a good job and you've done it in the past then by all means go ahead like i think i'd be confident enough to do it by hand if it was super cool temperatures maybe in the fall when it's nice and cool out but i i prefer and recommend to use an airless sprayer if you have access to one and if you don't have access to one well you know you can use the brush and roll method but that's up to you that's on you don't don't say timo said i could do it with a brush <laughs> so yeah so also too one last thing that i do i used to paint my doors like this side to side i would i would i would spray side to side because i figured big long strokes um would be better but the more that i've realized nowadays um don't do it this way you guys because you're actually giving yourself optimization for lap lines and if you're not familiar with lap lines, what it is is where you overlap the paint, there's like dry, it'll either dry light or heavy. So you'll see these lines. So you run risk of having these lines run across, which I thought was a good idea to go sideways in the past. But now I know that a vertical spray gives you a better finish and it reduces the opportunity to get those lap lines because you're keeping a wet edge. Now I'm doing this long run here. And what's going on over here is like it's drying by the time I come back. It's, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but it is. It's starting to dry. It's a very thin layer because you're not spraying it too heavy on the metal garage door. So that's another one. Do not ever spray a super heavy coat on your garage door. Always do two coats. One thin coat, one moderate coat, and that should be plenty. I like to even sand in between coats uh, with the light 220. So, all right, guys, that's the rest of the video. Don't forget, I got the free estimating guide down in the link description below to help make you more money and never underbid a job ever again. Uh, it'll be pinned in the comment section as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.